A week ago, State Minister for Investment and Privatization, Evelyn Anite, sighed with relief for an order of court that placed Uganda Telecom Limited under administration for a month, but leaving UTL's creditors anxious. This is the first time we're having the Insolvency Act uh, provisions on administrations being tested. And that issue you're raising is one that has been brought up before. But the, the, the protection against enforcement, remember prejudices, creditors. So the balancing of interests between the company's interests and creditors is, is where the 30 days come from. Now the Institute of Procurement Professionals of Uganda on its part argues that placing UTL under administration clearly provides a window of hope for the numerous suppliers and contractors. The companies don't just close down to run away. This is a, a legal process they have to go through. And in my view, whoever has a genuine claim against the company will be paid. But whoever has a fictitious claim will definitely lose out because the receiver tactically, fundamentally has to begin with verification. They verify the genuineness of the claim. However, there are other two critical insolvency aspects, that of receivership and liquidation, which appear far but so close to the fate of Uganda Telecom Limited. To take over the business or the affairs of the debtor for purposes of paying him in the event of a default or a failure to pay when it's due. So that's the receivership briefly. A liquidation, on the other hand, is a death of the company. You liquidate its assets, sell them, pay off all creditors, whatever is the surplus is probably paid off to the shareholders, and the company dies, it stops to exist. Even then, signs that capital injection from government may not come soon. Reorganizing the business operations of UTL should be urgent if it is to secure a strategic investor. Then work towards the cash flows. Uh, the investment in that part, then start thinking how do we get back our market share? Uh, I mean, who has an, a mango line now? How can we then make sure that people are back to mango line? Or why have we lost our market share on the landlines where we used to dominate? How do we do that? So then the government starts gaining visibility. So that kind of investment that starts giving immediate reward rather than paying off debt is what could be attractive. So I do is expect if that is what the plan is, if there is a strategic investor that is being looked for, it certainly makes the process look attractive. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.